back to the lake life. I'm here at Fishtails now. This is B.J. Barnett's place. I've heard legend of this guy they got in there. He's supposed to be some kind of fishing guru. Now, I don't know anything about fishing, so we're going to put him to the test today. On top of that, this is your local place for Costa Del Mar sunglasses, for Yeti coolers, for AFCO clothing, Guy Harvey clothing, everything. Actually, I think Lyndon's already inside checking out some of the clothes. What can you do? But on top of that, they'll even sell you a car out here at Fishtails. Portable buildings, anything you need. Come out here to Fishtails, even if you don't fish a lick. I guarantee you, you'll find something up here just like I'm about to. Y'all stay tuned. It's going to be a heck of a day. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Lake Life here. I'm at Fishtails on Highway 280 with Mr. Randy Baker. Mr. Randy, please, let's start off talking about what are these covers on the fishing poles. These are called stick jackets. They're actually a rod protector. You put them on your rod and you can actually put more rods in your locker plus it protects your eyes as it's in the locker. So less damage to your rods. They're a great product. I use them myself. Some more merchandise that you sell here would be the new popular Yeti coolers and I know that they're way better than your normal styrofoam coolers you get at the gas station but why are they well the insulation properties of the cooler itself they retain ice 10 to 15 times longer than any other cooler in the summertime your ice should stay in your cooler anywhere from six to ten days which is phenomenal you have uh less problems with uh sealing it has a tight seal very tight seal the hardware is forever. It's built to last forever. You'll have less problems with it, believe me. I own one myself. <laughs> well, I was reading the brochure. They say they're bear-proof and bomb-proof. I agree with them. They're indestructible. You can bounce it off your truck, go back and get it, and should be no problems whatsoever with it. Well, another popular thing that you sell would be these AFCO visors and shorts and their sportswear but what's special about them well the afco shorts they actually have a stain resistant finish also an odor resistant finish the college uh age group really like these you can wear them three or four days before you have to wash them <laughs> my brother probably needs some of those because sometimes he can be a little smelly after a long day of yeah. School. Your visors, you, uh, you have the sun protector visor, which has a flap that goes down over your neck, which keeps you from being blistered. The ever-popular AFCO visor is really for shade proof, and that's it. But uh, it's a great line of uh, products, and we're happy to be able to sell them to the public. Do you wear them for fishing, just only fishing, or can you use them for other outdoor activities? No, I mean, we have a lot of people that uh, don't fish that buy them just, they're a dressy look too, not just the fishermen, it's for the whole public. Just come by and, you know, check them out. Another brand that you sell, which people might not know about, would be the Costa Del Mar sunglasses. And those are crazy popular right now with the younger kids. And especially since summer's coming up, people are out in the water fishing or just, you know, playing on the water. Tell us a little bit about them. Uh, the Costa sunglasses are, as anyone that knows sunglasses will know, that they're the top of the line brand of sunglasses. They're great for your eye protection. They come in a full array of colors, styles, for just about anyone from the young and to the advanced age. You can, uh, you can get a pair that will fit your needs. Well, if they don't have the exact pair in the store, could you order them for the customer and they could pick them up here? Yes, we can, uh, we can place an order for you, and normally two to three days you'll have your sunglasses. We we will get you what you need or want. One of the last popular things that y'all sell would be the Guy Harvey t-shirts. And I'm, I didn't know y'all sold these either. But talk about them. And they're another item that is super popular right now with the younger folks and even the older generation. Guy Harvey is anyone that knows the product itself is a famous artist. And he is, his designs are it's widespread all across the United States now, young and old alike. They have uh, several new styles coming out this spring that uh, we should have in the store by the end of spring, first of summer. 
And it's in a price range that everyone can afford. Well, when I was driving up today, I noticed all kinds of buildings outside. What are those used for? Several styles. You have the garage style, which people actually use for a garage or storage. You have the side lofted and lofted barns, which not only have floor space, but they have storage space. We have sizes anywhere from 8 by 12 to 12 by 32. So that's a size for your need. They have a five-year full warranty on all materials. They have a three-year mildew and stain-resistant finish already on them. And uh, the care for them is real simple. Uh, they're built with two-by-six floor joists, unlike many of our competitors. We have the ability to finance it through CTH Rentals, who is the parent company. You pay a small down payment and then a small monthly payment for either three or four years, or you can purchase it for cash outright. Um, could they also be useful if you're storing your boats in the winter to cover them up? Yes, you can. The wooden buildings can, but we also sell a, another product from Eagle Carports, which is probably more in the line of what you're asking. The metal building was available to in all sizes. Well, everybody, this is all from the fishing guru, Mr. Randy Baker. Let's take it over to Chris and see what he's getting into. We're here at B.J. Barnett's place, Fish Tales, and I'm standing next to the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Randy Baker. Randy, how you doing, brother? Great. How are you, Chris? Man, if I was any better, they may be in a cup to check. Here's <laughs> what I'm saying. Uh, we, we're sitting here now. We're looking around all these lures. Now, I don't know anything about fishing. If I come to a place like this, do, can I bank on the expertise of a guy like you to help me out? Oh, sure you can. I mean, I've fished this lake for 50 years. Do you got another spot where they're biting, or are they biting everywhere? Well, and it helps to know, have your special places. You know, this lake itself is void of cover except man-made cover. So anytime you can put your own cover out and keep it a secret, which is hard to do nowadays, then it definitely helps you. Can you tell me the best lure to use if I'm out for a spotted bass? Oh, yes. I uh, have some right here. Oh, it's just right there. Yeah. It's a jig head and a finesse worm. It's simple to use. You know, you're looking at deeper water during the winter time especially. So you can take this with this worm, cast it to rocky areas. And wrestle one up. You can wrestle one up. It's just that simple. It's that simple. Really? I'm serious. Like, <laughs> it seemed a lot more complicated to me for some no, reason. No, not really. It's not rocket science. Well, let's say it was fall, and I'm looking for a largemouth bass. Now, now, what do I? I bet you I ain't got nothing for that in here. Oh yes, of course, easily accessible. This is called a jig, or it's commonly known a pig and jig. Pig and jig. Why is right. it a pig and jig? That's just you no know, fancy name. Well, older times they used pork rinds, pig. Can I still use pork rind? You can if you want. Pork yeah. rind's cheaper than this right here? No, they're not cheaper and they're harder to keep from drying out. Ah, that's a good sales tactic, right? That's oh, a good job. Yes. Right but this is a jig. This is trailer that would go with it. Just take this, cast it out around rocky points or trees. Just any kind of surface underneath the water, right? Right. Especially irregularities under the water. Mm -hmm. Cast it out and just kind of crawl it along the bottom until he bites. And haul him in. So if it's springtime, right, and I want to go out and catch a, a striped bass, a good size one, what would you give me for that? Okay, I have it right here, Chris. Uh, How do you know where all these are? I normally stock it, <laughs> stock this area, you so I know there. where they're at. <laughs> <laughs> I put them there. Okay, this is called a red fin. It's a large size swim. That'll catch a big old fish now. Well, that's what we're going after. Yes, Lord. Yeah, you know, take this one and kind of go up to the head of the river. You know, the, the striper, even though it really doesn't reproduce in Lake Martin, it still goes through its spawning action. I mean, it, it tries to spawn even though it doesn't. So they will make their run up the river or creeks to go through the spawn ritual. Huh. Take this one, cast it out, and just swim it along and hold on. <laughs> hold on, he said. All right, but let's say it's a hot summer day on Lake Martin. Maybe muddy water, and I'm looking for the, the monster catfish. The good eating fish, right? You ain't got nothing for a catfish in here, I know. Oh, yes, I do. This is called magic bait, catfish bait. It's a chicken blood type. You just Why chicken blood? Just for the smell. Are they used to eating chickens like that? No, no, but, you know. They don't care. You got to call it something. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> take, <laughs> take your hook through this bait, cast it out, 
the smell is what attracts the catfish. Right, yeah. That's, that's, that's the biggest nasty. thing. Yeah. So, well, let me ask you this. It. Why is this better than chicken livers I can get at a grocery store or something like that? This will actually stay on your hook a lot better than chicken livers out of the store. Well, that makes sense. And on top and of that. It's messy. That's, that's the biggest thing. With something smelly, you don't want it messy, too, right? Oh, no, not really. Yeah, you got to. Well, on top of that, uh, I guess you can't find, even if you can go to a grocery store and get those, you're not going to find any kind of hooks, the lines, the poles, and all the other stuff you need, right? That's correct. That's the reason you come to me. I have it all. Got it all. So while I'm already going to get the big, big lures and the uh, or the big line, then I need to go on down here and get this right here so I can hook them right. That would really make sense. Yeah, it just makes good sense. Well, hey, the fishing guru, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Randy Baker. Thank you so much for talking to me. And, uh, you know, tell me a little bit about this. But so far, that's four seasons, four totally different fish, and you've got them all right here ready to go. Oh, correct. So it don't matter what time of year it is, what you're out for, come right here to Fish Tales Bait and Tackle. It's right off Highway 280. I promise you can find it. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. Thanks for joining us for another edition of Lake Life. We've been here at Fish Tales. Lyndon's still inside ringing up. I think she got her some new coasters. I'm about to go in there and get me some. But first, hey, special thanks to BJ Barnett and the whole crew here at Fish Tales. I tell you, they do a great job. They can tell you anything you want to know. They, they help out tremendously in local stuff. Uh, matter of fact, our friends over here at Sports Blitz, they're a huge sponsor for Sports Blitz. Come down here. Check out the best local bait shops. You can find out what's working at what time of the year and what weather. If you're looking to catch a big fish on Lake Martin, or if you need a Yeti, or Costa Del Mars, or some AFCO clothes, or Guy Harvey, or really just anything you may need, come on down here to Fish Tales and get one more reason why Lake Martin is so great. Thanks for joining me for another edition of Lake Life with Chris Giddens. Guys, we've had a good time today. We're going to have a great time tomorrow when we get started with all this fun stuff. Come join me on the lake. I guarantee we're going to have a good time. And if you're like me, you're going to fall in love with Lake Martin all over again. Thanks for tuning in to WAHC's new show, The Lake Life. I'm Chris Giddens, and I'll see you on the lake.